this hour, the saber rattling just got louder. The Pentagon says it's ready to help South Korea put bigger warheads on missiles to deal with the growing threat of North Korea. This is Kim Jong-un threatened thousands fold revenge and said it will teach a severe lesson to the United States. Okay, so what happened over the weekend? The United Nations Security Council finally slapped the rogue nation with sanctions worth more than one billion dollars. That is, by the way, the largest ever against the North Korean regime. But will it matter? We thought we'd give you a little history. The last time the UN imposed sanctions on Iran in 2010, it took 90 days to determine whether the sanctions were necessary. That would bring us to early November for the North Koreans, and that gives that rogue nation even more time to continue testing its missiles while Kim Jong-un says they already have the capability to hit mainland USA. So will the sanctions work or are they too late? We bring in Fox News military analyst and former Air Force Assistant Vice Chief of Staff, retired Lieutenant General Tom McInerney. And you know the region, sir. You served many, many years in the Pacific. Give us your first assessment on whether you believe North Korea, A, can hit the mainland, and B, if he's serious when he says he will make us pay thousandfold? Well, first of all, I don't believe he can do it right now. Within a year, yes, he's made rapid progress, Liz, and we need to take this serious. Number two, I don't think he really understands what he just said. Now, what I would tell him is, Mr. Kim Jong-un, if one round of artillery goes into Seoul, Korea, you will get our full nuclear retaliatory capability. There will not be a city left in North Korea. You will be finished. Read my lips. Don't we and then have, I would but, but okay, hold that thought. Don't we have to back that up? And that would include the deaths of many, many, many civilians. Should we be prepared for that? I don't know if you fully understood what I said. If he gets our full nuclear retaliatory capability mm -hmm. within minutes after one round going into Seoul, there will be nothing left. If you go to airborne alert, we used to call it Chrome Dome, with nuclear weapons, and then we start building up our other forces, etc., he will not last 15 minutes. And he can't put enough artillery into Seoul in 10 to 15 minutes, and it's going to be over. because. Our weapons can hit his artillery pieces. If you see, think of 2,000 cruise missiles in the air, mm -hmm. Liz, and if you think of our full nuclear retaliatory capability, then there's not going to be le anything left of North Korea in 15 minutes, completely. And I'd make sure he understood that. And now I do. I understand exactly what you're saying. <laughs> you're scaring the crew here, General. Um, but uh, again, I, I want to scare them. I get that. But do you think the Trump administration is ready to put that kind of muscle behind those words? Well, I believe if they look at the options of trading San Francisco, Seattle, Los Angeles for that, I think they will. We have a president. We have a, a secretary of defense called General Mattis. We have a Secretary of Defense, General Dunford. We have a National Security Advisor, General McMasters. They know what needs to be done. Now, <clears throat> are they going to be as harsh as I am right now? Maybe or maybe not. Mm -hmm. I had 12 years in the Pacific, eight tours, and I spent a lot of time there. And that's the only thing Kim Jong-un will understand, as will the Russians and the Chinese. That's why I believe they approve yeah, that vote. Yeah. They are seeing the coercive diplomacy. They know when those three gentlemen made certain statements about full military capabilities, they know what we have. And it must be very clear that we will not accept a nuclear, even though they've detonated five weapons, uh, North Korea with ICBMs. That is not acceptable. Do you feel that they could reach New York or Los Angeles as they claim they're about to be able to do, or even Chicago? Not now, within a year. But then it's too late.